Hi, I'm Julia, Reference Librarian at McAllen Public Library. This is Creative Tech, where we'll be learning some digital skills and design skills that can help you at work and at home. So now that it's October and the weather's cooling off a little bit, this is the perfect time of year to start getting out, uh, spending more time in nature. It's also a great, uh, a fun activity that you can do while safely social distancing. Uh, the South Texas Rio Grande Valley is famous for all of the birds we have here, migrating bird species and our ecotourism industry. And so I'm going to show everyone how to use an app that can help you identify all the birds that we see here. Uh, the app is called Merlin and it's from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Ornithology is the scientific study of birds. So these are the bird experts. Uh, you have any bird question, they know all about it. Uh, so the first time you open the app or you set it up, you're going to have to make an account and you also have to enable the location because that's how it knows where you are and that's really how the how the app works. Um, so once you're once you're logged in, you have it set up. There are three options. Uh, you can start bird ID. That's where you look a bird up uh, manually. Uh, photo ID is where you uh, you put a photo that you have of a bird that you've seen, and it'll help you identify it. And then explore birds is where it'll show you all the different birds that are in your area and what time of year they're there. Uh, so we'll go through all three of these. Uh, start bird ID. And current location, so it knows I'm in McAllen. And let's see, okay, when did you see the bird? Uh, We'll pretend that we saw it today, October 1st. And now right here, it's asking you what size the bird is. Uh, the one that I'm going to use as an example is a hummingbird that I saw the other day. So I'll go the smallest size here. And the colors that it had were mostly, let's say, uh, green and gray. And the bird, when I saw it, it was on a wire. And this is actually the one that I saw right here, the um, red ruby-throated hummingbird. And so, but you can, uh, if, if the one that you saw is not first at the top of the list, you just keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you find one that uh, looks like what you saw. And once you find it, you click on this is my bird right here. And it'll ask you where. And then you do save. And so now it's saved in your list of birds that you have seen. And the little home button up there in the corner takes you back to the home page. Uh, so now the other way you can identify birds is you go to photo ID. And you can either take a photo or choose photo. We'll do choose photo. So this is the bird here. You should zoom in as much as you can. And then you do next. And you do identify. And same thing. If it's a good photo, it'll, um, it'll do a pretty good job of uh, identifying the bird for you. And it also tells you a little bit about it. Uh, like right here, it tells you this is actually a rare bird, a uh, rare hummingbird that I saw. So then you do, this is my bird. And it wants to know where you are. And what's the same thing as on the uh, with the other method. You just tell it where you are and it'll save it to your list. And the final option here, explore birds. That's when you're not looking for a particular bird, but you just want to see what the likely birds um, are to be in your in your area that day. And so you can see here, it's a long list. These are all of the birds that live in South Texas or that migrate through South Texas. And it has a, um, a, a monthly, kind of a monthly schedule, like a schedule for the year here. Um, the letters are for each month. And the little line tells uh, tells you what time of year you're in. And so we're in October, so that's why the little line is by the O. And the bigger the line is, it'll the well, the thicker the bars are. That's um, kind of indicates how many 
how big the population of birds uh, of the birds is. Um, so those pigeons that we see everywhere, the rock pigeons, this shows that there are a lot of them this, well, this time of year and really all year round. And the little bars up here give you some options for uh, different ways to sort the list. So this is a fun app for all ages, um, adults, kids, teens, uh, really anyone. Um, uh, what I like about it is that it's almost like a tr like a game or a treasure hunt uh, or like Pokemon Go. You just uh, walk around anytime you see a bird anywhere in your yard, HEB parking lot, um, anywhere you can take a picture of it. Uh, the app will help you identify it and you can uh, continue uh, collecting, kind of like you collect things on Pokemon Go. This was Julia and thank you for watching. Be sure to follow MPL Adults on Facebook and McAllen Public Library on YouTube and don't miss any of our virtual programs.